This is something you should never, ever do with a narcissist. If you can help it, never, ever, ever do this with the narcissist. It's going to completely ruin your life forever, forever. And for the people who have done it with the narcissist, they can attest to this, that this is no joke. If you can help it, never, ever do this with the narcissist. What is it I'm talking about? Kids. Never have children with the narcissist. This is the worst thing you can do. The worst thing you can do for yourself and for your children is by having children by the narcissist. Those of you who have kids by the narcissist, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is for men and women. This specific video is for men and women. Never ever have kids by the narcissist. So even if you don't take anything from any one of my videos, any one of my videos, the one thing I really, really want you to take from this, this specific video is never have kids by the narcissist. You will regret it for the rest of your life. You won't regret the children, but you will regret the fact that you have children with this person for the rest of your life. Why? Because you will be stuck with this person in so many different ways for the rest of your life. And I know a lot of people say, oh, after 18 years. No, having kids with the narcissist is not 18 years. It's forever. The sentence is forever. The pain and torture is forever because kids are forever. They're not just 18 years. One of the ways the narcissist likes to trap their victim is through having kids by them. If it's a man, if he knows that you are smart, you are living your best life, you are out there, you can get up and go anytime you want, you can, you know, you're youthful, you have your body, um, you can wear your bikini, you can do all of these things, you're just free. And they know that any moment you could get up, wise up, leave, and you'll be fine right? One of the ways to trap you is by having a child by you. And for women, again, most times when we have children, it slows us down. I don't care who you are. I don't care how quick your snapback is. A child will slow you down. So the responsible thing, the responsible thing to do is to have a child by someone who's responsible, by your husband or your, your significant other. I'm not judging. Whatever your situation is, never, ever, ever fully well, know fully well that you're messing with a narcissist, think that having a child by this person may change them. I don't care if that's what they're telling you because they will tell you that. They're smart. They know that children slow women down. When you have a child, the automatic primary parent is the mother, right? And I'm going to get to the guys in a second, but I'm talking about women right now. The, the primary parent of that child is the mother. The mom is usually the one breastfeeding. She's usually the one getting up in, in, you know, at night. She's usually the one who has gained weight. She's the one who has ruined her body. She's the one who does a lot of the nurturing because a mother is simply a mother. So the fastest way to slow a woman down is by making her a mother. And then the narcissist will go one step further by making you a single mother. And again, y'all could be married. You could be married to this narcissist. You will be a single mother. You'll just be a married single mother. And again, if you already know, if you're living this, you know what I'm saying is true. And if you're comfortable, please comment down below so the class can know. So the quickest way to slow a powerful woman down, a woman who can just get up and go, a woman who can just do her thing, a woman who has her confidence and her power and, you know, she can just, she's free to do whatever. The quickest way to trap her and to slow her down is by having a child by her. Another way to take control of her is by being connected with her through the child. Because this is an important thing now. You both have a child together. So you have to do certain things together. You have to co-parent in a certain way. So most narcissistic men will use this as an opportunity to gain unlimited access to their baby mother. I don't like that term, but that's what it's called in society. So their baby mother becomes their property. So with most of them, you're not allowed to date. You're not allowed to entertain other people. You're not 
allowed to do anything, even though they're not treating you right, even though they made you a single mom, even though they don't give a flying F about that child, they will pretend like they like that child. And for the men, the quickest way for a narcissistic woman to trap a man is by having his child. The first thing she's going to do is come after you for that child support. The first thing she's going to do is file for uh, for divorce so she can not only get spousal support, but child support. The first thing she's going to do is stop you from seeing your children or your child. The first thing she's going to do is use that child against you. Say all kinds of mean and negative things about you to that child. So like I said, this goes both ways. This is not a mill bat bashing uh, page. So if you think that's what it is, or if a lot of people want it to be that, that's not what it is. I have a brother. I have a man in my life that I love and respect. I have, you know, multiple wonderful men in my life that I love and respect. And I also realize that narcissism, not all men are narcissists. Not all men are dogs, like people like to say. So when I speak, I speak from experience with the one person that I've dealt with who was, in fact, a narcissist. This is not to general, generalize all men. Men suffer from narcissism just as much as women do. Sometimes men suffer worse because people don't expect them to go through that. So people, and also men, because the way society expects them to act or react, a lot of them suffer in silence. So it's more acceptable for women to come out and say it or share their experiences versus when um, the man come out comes out, or at least that's what they think. So this goes both ways. But regardless of what gender you are, if you can take my advice, if you can if you can take anything from any of my videos, I will say if you can help it, do not. Do not have a child with a narcissist. Narcissists do not get better with time. So the longer you stay with them, they're not going to get better. They're not going to change. They're not going to seek help. Because nothing is their fault. They don't have a problem. So you have to have a problem to go to therapy. You have to have a problem to want to fix the problem. You have to have a problem to see your fault in anything. But because narcissists are perfect people in their minds... They're not going to seek help. Therefore, they're not going to change. So the longer you stay with them, the longer the situation lasts. But if you're lucky, like some of us, who figured them out and left early without being involved with them in that way, you get away scot-free. A lot of you think that the narcissist got away and they're free. They got away with what they did to you. You got away. If you can get away with this person with no attachment, you didn't get married to them, you didn't especially have a child with them, you won. It doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel that way right now. Or it didn't feel that way when you were in it. But you won. The fact that you survived the narcissist, you won. So don't ever, ever let them trick you into thinking that if you have a child by them or with them, they're going to change or they're going to act better. They're going to be there for the child. They're not. Narcissists don't love anybody, not even their children. They use children as part of their game, as part of the ways to hurt you. They use the kids as part of the way to continue to control you. If you have a child with a narcissist, you know this. You know they don't care about the children. They only fake it for social media. Sometimes they'll come around for a few seconds, take pictures and post it everywhere. They'll buy one little piece of bubble gum for that child, post it everywhere and act like they're the greatest father or greatest mother on earth. If you can help it, don't have children by these people cut your losses and walk away as soon as possible it's better to not have a child at all than to have a child by a narcissist i know it sounds tough it sounds harsh but trust me the people who have children by narcissists they can attest to this read the comments see what they're saying do not do not have kids by these people Follow for more.